Hello everyone. Thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for supporting our channel and we're here to keep you updated with the latest and most reliable um, news um, in our country. Um, the one we've got today is from um, Edo State. Um, the governor of Edo State, the person of Godwin Obaseki, he has um, explained or he has stated why um, he is opposed to direct primaries and um, he gave this statement um, yesterday and we'll find out more details about this in a moment but be please before we do if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel do click on the subscribe button down below and also do give this video a thumbs up hit on the like button we really do appreciate you thank you very much so right let's go straight um, into the main content um, of the news edo 2020 why i'm opposed to direct primary Obaseki. Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State on Sunday said as the party leader of the All Progressive Congress APC in Edo State, he opposed the adoption of the direct primary method adopted by the party's National Working Committee because it might trigger a spread of COVID-19 in the state. The Edo State chapter of the APC and the national leader of the party are currently locked in a battle on the mode of primary to be used in choosing the flag bearer of the party. While Edo APC led by Anselm Ojezwa said he was adopting the indirect primary method for the emergence of the party's flag bearer in the September 19, 2020 governorship election in the state, the National Working Committee said it had adopted the direct primary option. While the direct primary method involves all card-carrying members of the party, only accredited delegates are allowed to participate in the indirect primary method. Since the crisis broke out, some Nigerians are wondering why Obaseki is opposed to the direct primary method, saying he shouldn't be afraid if truly he is as popular as he claimed. However, speaking with Daily Independent, Obaseki, who spoke through Kroso Osaige, his special advisor on media and communication strategy, said as an extremely popular candidate, he was not afraid of any mode of primary and would defeat any aspirant who slugged it out with him for the APC ticket. He said as the chief security officer of the state, he was opposed to the idea of direct primary now because of the COVID-19 pandemic in the state. According to him, Gathering together over 500,000 party members in the name of primary may trigger the number of COVID-19 cases already in the state, a situation he said will put more lives at risk. The governor of Edo State and leader of APC in the state, Governor Godwin Obaseki, is an extremely popular candidate who would defeat any aspirant and contestant the party's ticket in whatever means of primary that is used. The question we should ask is, is direct primary the better alternative now in the midst of COVID-19 pandemics? If you recall, some people are even pushing for the postponement of the election, but INEX said it had to go ahead because it was constitutionally circumscribed. That is why even when INEC is releasing a policy with which elections within the period are going to be conducted, Nobody would do anything now and would not consider the fact that gathering a large number of people together at a point in the name of primary. Direct primaries involved gathering together about 400 to 500,000 party members in different units to vote. In this period of the pandemic, that is enough to trigger the pandemic crisis in the state. According to the NCDC, as at May 23rd, 2020, 28 new cases had been discovered in Edo State. If we gather this large number of people together, naturally, we are going to shoot up the number and there will be crisis. In our opinion, anybody who loves this country and the citizens should be looking for ways to reduce the spread of this virus. Governor Obaseki, as a responsible citizen and chief security officer of Edo State, will not take any action that will put the health and safety of the good people of the state at risk. That is why we are opposed to the idea of direct primary at this period. 
On the rumors that he may be out of his way from the party, Obaseki also reaffirmed his earlier stance that he had no plans to dump the APC for the People's Democratic Party PDP, adding that as the state party leader, he was firmly in control of the chapter. I have said it repeatedly that Governor Godwin Obaseki is firmly in charge of the structures of the APC in the state. Whatever rumors out there that the governor is leaving the party is completely false. You don't leave a house that you built and you are in control of, he said. Also speaking, Chief Charles Idaosa, a former commissioner for information in the state, said Oshomole could not interfere in the mode of primary as he was an interested party in the crisis plaguing the state chapter of the party. He also urged that if the APC under Oshomole could adopt the indirect primary method in 2016, which produced Obaseki as the party's candidate, it would be unreasonable for the party to settle for the direct method at a period the country and the state were battling hard to curtail the spread of coronavirus. On the issue of direct or indirect primary, it is very clear that primary is a domestic issue of a political party. There is a Supreme Court judgment on that. I think Oshomole is just too out to do a lot of destruction, just like he did in Zamfara and other states. What surprises me most is that all the leaders of the party are just waiting for him to destroy the fabrics of the democracy of APC. While they are doing that, I don't know. When people try to change a story to suit them, it is very painful. Everybody is aware that on the issue of Edo State, Oshomole is a principal actor. In fact, he's an interested party in this matter. He wants Obaseki out at all costs. Oshomole was governor in Edo State when Obaseki contested the governorship primary in 2016. The method used was indirect primary and it was held at Ogbe Stadium, supervised by Oshomole himself. There was no coronavirus then, but he used indirect primary. Why is he now calling for direct primary at a time where we're all trying to stop the spread of coronavirus in the state? In a those state, we don't care if it's direct primary or indirect. What we are saying is the fairness. If Oshomole is involved, whether direct or indirect, there's going to be a problem because he is biased. On the part, Professor Ishe Shage San, chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, said that he was in support of the decision of the National Working Committee to adopt the direct primary method for the selection of the party's governorship candidate in Edo State. He said any aspirant who feels he's popular with the party members shouldn't oppose the direct primary method. According to him, it's more democratic. He said, my impression is that it is the national body that organizes primaries for the governorship elections, not the state executives of the APC. If that is the case, what it means is that Oshomole is right. Secondly, in my view, the direct primary in which all party members are allowed to participate is more democratic. It reflects the views and aspirations of all the members in the grassroots. But the indirect primary, which is only delegates are allowed to vote, is subject to manipulations, imposition, and so it is undemocratic. So, I prefer the direct primary method, and I believe the APC National Working Committee has the right to determine which type of primary should be adopted. Any contender who is popular with the people will prefer the direct primary method. So, my people, that's the news reaching us at the moment. Um, Obaseki has explained his side while he's opposed them um, to the direct um, primaries. And um, we all know that uh, um, we are battling coronavirus at the moment. But um, he has said this part. I believe um, you've got your own concerns and reservations as well. Please do leave your comment and your take down below but just to let you know just a disclaimer we are not in support of any party we are not speaking for or against anyone all we do here is just to bring the news to you just as it is so we really do appreciate your understanding and cooperation thank you once again to everyone that have subscribed please if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel do click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up hit on the like button as well we really do appreciate you thank you till i come your way again it's bye 
bye for now and God bless.